I'm Julie, thank you for joining me and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be planning in my classic vertical happy planner for the week of May the 9th to the 15th and I've got a bit of a challenge on my hands. In the second week of each month I do a theme spread as part of the International Planner Collab group that I'm part of on Instagram and this month's theme is What a Difference a Year Makes. The idea behind this challenge is that we look back over our last year's spreads and try to pick one that we would like to recreate or reinvent using exactly the same sticker book and compare the two to see how our style has changed. When I look back at my spreads from last year, on the whole, I was really happy with the majority of them, but there were a couple that I was a little bit disappointed with. So I thought this was the perfect opportunity to have another go with a colourful leopard sticker book which I actually haven't used since April last year, when I did this spread that you can see. There's nothing wrong with this spread, but I just want to see what I can come up with using the same sticker book. I've even got the same washi tape that I used last time. It's really fun looking back in your planner. Really interesting to see that in April last year, we had a few flakes of snow and I only had 191 followers on Instagram. As they say, what a difference a year makes. One of the big differences in my planning over the past year is that I have started doing a few Bujo style spreads where I've actually drawn my own layout and I've really loved doing that. Here's the first one I did. It was a spread for National Sticker Day week and I really loved how this one turned out where I turned the boxes into planner sticker books. I also did this one with Mickey and Minnie where I used the boxes as little love letters. And again, really was pleased with how that turned out. So I'm really looking forward to doing another Bujo style spread today and changing it up to show what a difference a year makes. These pages are from the Stay Wild Guided Journal, which are dot grid and these are perfect for Bujo style layouts because you can count the number of squares to make your own boxes. So I'm using the same layout that I had for the Disney Valentine spread that I just showed. So the boxes are going to be 19 squares deep and 16 squares across. boxes. Just going to white out that mistake. I had two ideas for this spread. One was to use the leopard pattern inside the boxes but the only problem with that is the more decoration you put inside the boxes the less room there is for actually writing and they're already quite small considering you've got to fit the whole day in there. The other was to do the leopard pattern more in the middle as if it was coming out of the boxes, a little bit like when you do a floral spread and you have the flowers coming from the top of the page or the bottom, but to do that with the leopard spots instead. So I think I'm gonna go with that and see how that works. I was also wondering about whether to use this Just Begin, big quote in the middle, a bit bold, whether it be a bit too much with the leopard print but I can't see where else I'm going to use this big quote. It's a little bit on the large side and it would fit perfectly in the middle. So I think I will start with that. I've cut the quote in two so that I can have one part on each page. And I think because I like things to balance, it would be best if I put the word in the middle on both page because otherwise this word is a bit longer than the other word and it might look a bit strange if I have just and a big gap there and only a little gap there. No, that's being very fussy, but that's me. So let's see if I can get it. At least the dots are going to help me get it in the middle. One, two, three. Yeah, I've got three there and there. So I just need to check what's the middle of the word. Somewhere in the G. Doesn't have to be exact. She says, 
might just turn it around this way. Help me get it straight. Uh, I don't know if that's straight. Let's have a look. That's good enough. This quote is a perfect quote for me because I am a procrastinator. Always putting things off. Again, I think I might just turn it round. I think, I think that's straight. And sometimes I just need a reminder that I just need to make a start get these jobs done. I'll just do one box to show you how I'm going to do the decoration and then I'll probably finish the rest off camera or speed it up. So I'm going to put the leopard print so that it's peeping out. Then take my X-Acto knife and cut it so that it looks like it's behind the box. Let's get one with a bit of pink. And that's the sort of look that I'm going to do all the way along and all the way at the top as well. So I'll be back in a flash. So that was a bit fiddly and I've got little bits of stickers all over my fingers now, but I'm loving how it looks. Just not sure what's going to happen about this area here because it seems to make sense to carry it on. And I'm also wondering about whether I should fill around the word by putting the stickers all the way around the edge. But I think I'll leave it like it is for now and see what happens with the rest of the spread, which I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. And just to show you how few stickers it actually does take, that's how many I've used from that page, just to do that edging. So although sometimes it seems like when you're doing florals around a page, you might use up a lot of them, they actually go a really long way. I wanted to use a quote strip, as I had one in the spread I was trying to recreate, so I thought this Give Yourself Grace might be quite apt, just begin. Sort of a message to not be too hard on myself, but also to try and get myself into gear so and then that will put a little edge here if I want to carry the pattern along so I'll just add a couple more pieces of the leopard print all I was careful to do when I was doing this was that I didn't put matching colours right next to each other. So you can see if I use green there I had pink so I was just spreading out the colours. So some green I think and then probably some pink in that little space. Hopefully this will fit. don't think I put that quite low enough. So I might just have to tweak it a little bit. Don't know if that will show. Let's have a look. Not sure about that. I'll try and find somewhere else for that quote to go, I think. I think I will add stickers at the end. So I'm just going to fill up the little space here. bit off. I have to say these clear stickers are awfully sticky. They're sticking to everything. This one here.
Oh, I think that's gone a little bit too far. Just need to trim that off. And just finish that corner off up there. See, even the tiniest little bit that's left can come in useful. And the same this side. Take it all the way to the edge. And that's done. Really love the way that looks. I think bringing this washi tape that I used last time is going to be a bit tricky because it's such a big pattern and I've already got this big pattern here so this may not be able to make an appearance. I think I'll try and bring these in that I used in my last spread. Just maybe in the corner here. As they're a bit smaller, it's not too much. That's a bit sort of too opposite. I think I'll just have it in this corner here. So I need a couple on this side for balance as I've got this one on the bottom I want to have it on the top so it's either here that's a little bit near that one so I think put this one here then this one at the top can't go there really because it's too much the same so either there or this side I think I prefer it this side So I do always try to balance things up in my spreads. I found this decorative box and I thought I could put the month at the top here. So just going to add it here. It's not quite the same width as the other boxes that I've drawn. But it should do. And now I think I can add that Give Yourself Grace sticker underneath it. See how that looks. Yeah, happy with that. I think I'll just layer these to-do boxes. I like to have some key to-dos at the start of each week. We'll have to bring in Live Love Posh's Functionally Chic just to do the month and probably the days as well. I do wish there was more than one set of the paper months because I've already used every single one so far. I think probably on the leopard print. Could put it at the top. Quite like it on the uh, on the leopard, actually. I might do that. Just a few finishing touches now. I do feel like I need to bring in a little bit more colour because I've just got this pop of colour here and the colour here. So I've got this, the plan. I'm just going to put down the bottom corner. Let's add a couple of these to-do stickers, perhaps to these plain boxes here, just to give a little bit of extra colour. I really do need some checklists but there don't seem to be any in the colourful leopard book so I don't know whether I leave it or use the checklist stencil 
got a couple of appointments and there are these appointment stickers but I'm just wondering if it's a little bit too much leopard or whether perhaps if I could cut some of it off would that help let's try what do you think that's I've cut the top off and that's how it was before I think it looks better without but I don't want to take it off altogether so I'm going to put that one there. I've got the blue right next to the blue. I think that'll be all right. And we'll put this one here. That just brings a little bit of extra colour. Maybe just add a special box to Saturday as that box looked a little bit plain. Just add this little note to self at the top. Now these boxes are looking a little bit plain, these two. Just going to add this important to balance up that appointment in that colour. Not sure if I've got anything important on Thursday, but if not, I'm sure there's something I can write there and I'm going to add the routine down the bottom this one and I just feel I still need something for this box I think I'll just have to have the plan which I've already got in that corner I know it's a little bit sort of symmetrical but I just feel like there's something missing from this box I'm definitely much happier with this spread than the one I did last year. I wasn't quite sure if it was going to work. I did worry that these were going to be a little bit large and not work as a border. I'm still not sure whether I need to add some and frame it off here. And also I'd really like to add some bullet points in. I'm not sure whether I'm technically supposed to, although I have already added some stickers from another book. I have predominantly used the same sticker book that I did last year. So you may see when I show the finished spread at the end of the video, whether I've added in some bullet points or not, but I will stop there for now. Here's my first colorful leopard spread that I did last year. And this is this one. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer and whether colorful leopard is a sticker book you've struggled to use. If you'd like to be part of the what a difference a year makes challenge on Instagram, then all you need to do is remake a spread or reinvent a spread from last year. Ideally, it'd be lovely if you could post both spreads. And as always, we love to share your spreads on our stories. Just look for the hashtag International Planner Collab or go to Plans in the Making and you'll find all the details. The challenge lasts all throughout the month of May and we'd love you to join in. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and remember to click that bell to receive notifications of when I next post. Happy planning, take care and see you soon.